So we'll be doing a case study on uh, coronary artery disease. I am Dr. Anin Khanna. I am a senior consultant in cardiology and vascular intervention at Indraprasth Apollo Hospital and also the group advisor to Apollo Group of Hospitals. Now, this is a very interesting case of a 21-year-old uh, young engineer who incidentally came to us uh, brought by his friends and he was at that stage having an acute coronary syndrome which is an acute heart attack and he came in cardiogenic shock and by the time he came to the hospital he was actually brought by the bystanders he had cardiac arrest this was on a sunday morning uh, you know around 11 o'clock i have i was going home after taking rounds and suddenly i got a call that a young patient has reported in emergency with cardiac arrest i went to see him and this patient was having a resuscitation he was only 21 years old there was no family member and uh, he was a young engineer and once he had this cardiac arrest and acute chest pain, he was brought in by the bystanders. Now, because he was so young and the family was not available, uh, we actually continued uh, trying to resuscitate him. And the resuscitation involved a very good cardiac massage and uh, CPR, which is a cardiopulmonary resuscitation, where we actually you know, uh, resuscitate the heart and also maintain the airway. We maintain the oxygenation and the blood supply to the brain and the heart and the body. So this was being done very effe efficiently by a very good emergency and critical care team. And, uh, but the patient did not improve. Many a times uh, he came back to his rhythm, uh, cardiac rhythm, but again arrested. And this continued for almost uh, one and a half hours. So. And while we were doing this, there was no hope, but then I still persuaded them to actually continue with cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And uh, we, what we did was also, uh, we wanted to prevent the brain damage uh, while we are doing this. So what we know is that if the brain does not get a blood supply for five minutes, uh, it is permanently dead. And if it does not get blood supply beyond a minute, what happens is the brain gets uh, partially damaged and this leads to a permanent functional loss or an abnormal uh, brain function when the patient recovers or the patient could be in coma when he when he's alive. So uh, to prevent that for the first time, we actually did a core cooling and a brain cooling. Uh, and I was very persistent. And uh, so we called up, up the management of Apollo Hospital that here is a very young patient who is coded and who's already got uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation for more than one and a half hours and uh, almost there is zero chance but still i want to go ahead and uh, try to open the heart arteries because this patient came with acute uh, heart attack with cardiogenic shock and cardiac arrest so the management uh, readily agreed and we put the patient on uh, life-saving uh, supports and with cardiac massage we shifted for about one and a half hours and brain pooling we shifted this patient to the cardiac uh, catheterization uh, lab which we call the cath lab or cardiac OT and actually took out a big clot from his main heart arteries and tried to resuscitate the heart uh, with uh, intracardiac uh, injections and intracoronary injections of cardiac stimulants uh, which we call adrenaline and slowly the heart picked up but when the patient the heart picked up and then slowly the patient was put on uh, a lot of supports to support his blood pressure but, uh, and then was patient was shifted to uh, the emergency and then the CCU, but, and we maintained the brain cooling and patient did not wake up for another 48 hours and almost at the end of 72 hours, we thought, you know, maybe he's brain dead, although his, his heart actually started uh, becoming more and more normal. We had then slowly weaned out the intraiotic balloon pump and, uh, ventilator also was put on a you know uh, lower uh, weaning of mode and slowly his brain actually started recovering and within a week the patient actually recovered completely and today he is uh, working as a, a young engineer he is an architect and he is working in a big firm here and he's doing very well so we have this as a follow up for more than 2 years now maybe 3 years and uh, this was extensively covered uh, worldwide, this story, and this came as the first 
you know, headline uh, news in uh, many national and international newspapers because this was the first reported case where a patient who had cardiac arrest for more than one and a half hours actually survived and not only survived, he was he had an emergency angioplasty done in a special way with brain cooling and he recovered completely and he's back to functional life. And then uh, his parents, after we did this, we tried to trace his parents. His parents were in Aligarh and they were a tea vendor in Aligarh. And finally they came and waited for a few days and when the patient finally recovered, it was a very heartwarming scene to actually see him opening his eyes and uh, hugging his mother and um, it was a very grateful event for uh, all of us. And uh, this is one case which I actually wanted to show as a case series. So the lesson of the case or the take home marriage or the take home uh, message is that never give up. In Apollo Hospital, we have a very, the philosophy, we, we have the best of the international standard uh, cardiac care and the holistic care. We are latest in our equipment, we never give up. And uh, like in this patient, uh, and we go up to the last stage to save the patient. And in this patient, uh, we achieved what was not achievable in almost any center in the world. And this is a showcase uh, to show the world that with persistence, with excellence in care and a teamwork, actually many patients can survive and uh, we should not give up. And especially in tertiary care centers like Apollo, this should be the spirit to go on. And we are very proud to be a part of the Apollo family where we work to the best of patients' interest and we have excellence in patient care.